hierarchy. If we begin with, let's say, director. Okay. Uh, and we look at junior. What comes in between? Supervisor. Okay. Senior. Okay, supervisor. Manager. Very good. Then? HOD. Okay. Then? VP. Mm. Then? Maybe senior manager or VP. Senior manager, VP, general manager. Okay. District manager? Mm, okay. CFO? Okay. You would have, um, where would you have trustee? Or director or CEO? Director can each, you know? Trustee director, you put. And CEO and uh, VP are about director. No. I'm not wrong. I don't know. You all are telling me. Yeah, CEO and uh, VP are supposed to be about directors. And wait, let me just. So directors mm -hmm. are the head of the board. Yeah. Board of directors, bro. Well, guys, I'm sorry to ruin your uh, imagination but uh, <laughs> the hierarchy is uh, CPO, Vice President, Director, Manager then the juniors. Okay, so here? Yeah, after uh, we, after we, after we. Okay, great. Okay, okay. Let's assume this is how we look at <laughs> the hierarchy. Uh, okay, wait, we'll do that later on. Uh, okay. Were you there in uh, JC here? Ah, okay. Uh, so if we're looking at this in terms of your hierarchy, very simply. Um, this is how you would look at Upward communication, okay. This is how you would see downward communication. You're not entering people, Siddhant. I can't keep doing things if you don't enter people. Okay. So, so this is, we said upward. And we said this is downward. Again, what is the use of these upward, downward? Why is it there? Chit -chat. Chit -chat. So that there is proper communication between all aspects of the firm and there is no confusion or miscommunication. Okay, very good. So if there is, a, you're looking at coordination, you're looking at communication, you're making sure that directives are followed now. If you're looking at people, now remember, we said hierarchy, right? So we're talking about ranks, okay? So upward communication just basically means looking at people communicating from the lower level to the higher level and downward in terms of the higher level to the lower level. Now, give me examples. Upward communication would be? I'll start. Suggestions. Um. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I say no. Hey, I upward communication was I was going to say advices as well. So. Mm. 
Uh, suggestions, advices. Mm-hmm. Okay. By the way, uh, single and plural of advice is advice only, not advices. Uh, single and plural of hair is also hair, not hairs. That will get pasting if anyone says it. Right? Hairs. Okay. Chalo. What else is what else comes as part of upward communication? Russell, Deepak, Pratham. Question. That's the only thing the lower level people can do, right? What else do they do? Come on. Reports or complaints. Oh, very good. Complaints are also called G R. Grievances. Very good. Then? create something called work culture. They help formulate and generate ideas on the basis of upcoming trends. Um, They are able to give impactful What are you able to give suggestions, ideas? Also giving feedback to management. Okay, feedback, yes. Maybe business model. Okay. Uh, so we would call them. Um, the business models. Uh, what else? Potential losses. Okay. Okay, fine. Let's look at the other side. What would downward communication involve? Orders. Giving orders. Excellent. Decisions. Setting, setting standards on how to, and deadlines, setting standards and deadlines. Very good. Then. Then planning yeah. instructions, excellent organizing, very good. Then salary, okay, remuneration. Strategies. Uh, do you think strategies come from lower level to higher level or higher level to lower level? And strategies come from a higher level to a lower level. No, yes. lower level to higher level. I mean, lower to higher level, depending. Strategies, ka- sorry, say. 
No, but uh, strategies are supposed to be something that the head of the organization plans, na? So how is it from lower to? Your absolute, you're absolutely right. Strategies come in both places. Why? Because strategies come in terms of suggestions. They go to the higher level only when they are approved. Do they come and filter back down? Okay. So it comes in terms of. Do we understand what middle management is? Yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, strategies would come from middle management to upper mid to upper management. You go to the trustees, directors, sort out stuff, and then there are directors that are put forth in terms of the strategy, and then it it is followed by everyone. So, for example, think of let's say your GST, okay, that got implemented. It was a suggestion by the let's say the finance uh, this, okay. You look at how it would improve uh, tax collection. For example, the directive finally comes from PMO. Okay, and then everyone follows it. Do we get why strategies come in both places? Yes. Okay. Uh, any questions so far? Policies and guidelines. Very good. Anything else? They can finance department. Okay. Financing departments. Uh, okay. Uh, dividing work to specialized people. Division of work in in a sense. Okay. Division of work. Oh, let's stop here. Uh, we have one more segment, which is we are looking at horizontal communication. uh if you are looking at what upward and downward means what is your assumption about horizontal communication is this we think one of the horizontal communication is very simply communication that takes place with people from the same level in the organization okay the rank has to be the same okay so horizontal communication is rank based okay department is not a criteria why do i say that so for example let's say if i have siddhant and russell okay siddhant is my sales manager i have russell as my finance manager we all know very clearly that both departments have to work hand in hand on a project okay um to kind of get deal sorted through uh, how much money is going to be allocated who is going to spend what what money where uh is this a correct use or usage of our resources for example all of these decisions go both hand in hand in terms of your sales and your finance department therefore both managers talking equally in terms of rank becomes horizontal communication okay so uh you've got junior staff colleagues for example talking remains horizontal communication is this much clear this much is clear okay so now uh i'll open a new page in terms of what we spoke so far last time also we said that there are two types of communication one is formal and we have informal okay now as part of formal what we've discussed so far okay the formal we said upward then we discussed downward we have something called vertical 
and then we had horizontal and we have diagonal okay diagonal i will get to don't worry it's very simple uh in yeah ma'am is there vertical just upward and downward for communication i'm getting to formal communication is called grapevine okay grapevine i will do tomorrow i am not doing that today very good ikra exactly vertical communication is inclusive of upward and downward uh do you remember in school you learn something called standing line sleeping line okay so if you imagine your vertical communication it is basically just this okay it does not tell you where the arrows point what is happening it's just vertical therefore vertical communication can take can be inclusive of both upward and downward horizontal communication is on your level playing field okay now uh oh we never discuss this why is uh, horizontal communication important what is this what is it used for to be working in coordination excellent coordination working in team very good team work then interdependence because all the sectors are dependent on each other perfect then effective communication that is to avoid any kind of miscommunication or confusion okay effective communication resolving issues Okay. What does fair play mean? What is the meaning of fair play? Maybe one department should not get more advantage than the other department. Mm -hmm. Stems from ethics. Okay, so therefore you are looking at fair play. Okay, um, do you understand the term of scoring brownie points? Yeah. So in terms of horizontal communication, you are not looking at scoring brownie points. Brownie points happens especially in terms of upward communication. Okay. Oh, I have this idea, sir. Would you like to hear it? It is very nice. It is very this. It is very that. And later on, you find out that that uh, suggestion was not from someone else, and uh, you just wanted to go and show your pretty little face, for example. Okay, uh, but yeah, in those terms, you're looking at scoring brownie points. So over here, in terms of horizontal communication, that's fair play. Okay. Uh, formal and informal. Okay. in let's try and do this since sidan said that you know he's from this college and everything he is sweet he is so let's try and look at your system and hierarchy in the college here i am okay what is spelling of principal p a l or p a l e p a l the rest of you all don't know Why? Why I ask? Why I ask questions to y'all? Y'all people are terrible. Okay, principal. 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 Okay, we call them. It's H O D as well, right? So, very good. 
Mm. There are people in between. So you said HOD. Then in charge, maybe. Okay, supervisor in charge. Who comes below vice principal? Administrator. Then we have coordinator. Then you have head of department. Then supervisor. Below supervisor, you have teaching staff. staff. Very good. Teaching staff. Then Non-teaching staff. Okay. Then? Lecturers. Lecturers come as part of teaching staff. Where do you all figure out? You all come here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now that we have established that now you understand how we are looking at in terms of um, the entire way your college functions, we will try and look at understanding. Mm, let's try and understand diagonal communication theory. Uh, Okay, let's Okay, uh, let's say you're part of an organization. Uh, Russell and Siddhant again are my Billy Ka Bakra, so I will use them only as, a, as my examples. So Russell is sales manager, Siddhant is finance manager. Okay, I am part of the sales team. So I work for Russell, okay, and I am his junior and he's left me with a ton of work, okay, and I'm sitting and finishing that off. Russell, where is your dream destination holiday? Pardon? Where do you wish to be if you had an op opportunity to go on a holiday? Sorry. Did you hear what he said? Maybe. Okay, Russell said the UK. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure, Ikra, I'll do that. Just let me finish this. Okay. So Russell has given me all the work. And this fellow is gone to the UK partying. He's like, I am leaving Denise with all the work. I am chill. Okay. I am going to enjoy myself in the UK. We meet the queen and we'll say howdy. Okay. And I'm left with the work. Now I know that me being a junior, I have deadlines to meet. And if I don't show up to work and don't uh, tell you that, you know what, this work is complete, you will say but everyone knew Russell has gone on a holiday because he signed in for a leave application. You didn't go for a holiday. Why have you not submitted your work? Just because Russell is gone, that means the organization does not run. No, it has work continues. So knowing that I have to work with someone, Siddhant is there. He's part of the finance. He's a finance manager. I know he'll take care of Russell's work because sales and finance kind of work hand in hand. I show Siddhant and he's like, okay, fine. So in these terms, this is what you're looking at, diagonal communication. It's still part of upward. However, it takes a slight curve, okay? 
So for example, because Russell was not available, I went to the next person in charge, which is Siddharth. Okay, so diagonal communication or cross communication. Uh, let me make this simpler. Mm. Okay, college. Question of the century. When will college reopen, ma'am? Okay, everyone wants to know. Now, technically, who are you supposed to ask? Class teacher. So, you asked your class teacher and then you realized, class teacher said, wait for a notice to come out. But now you're like dancing peacocks, no? How to wait? How to wait? We need to know the answer. So, out of every lecture, we ask, take two minutes and ask all our teachers, what is happening? Why? Because teachers are part of the same platform, no? All teachers will know something or the other. So, if we ask them, we will get some information. Okay. So, we will try all spectrums of the rainbow until we come up with the best possible answer. Okay. So, in those terms, very simply, if you are looking at how diagonal communication works, it is asking or looking for answers in terms of upward communication. But the person who is in charge of you, directly above you, in terms of the hierarchy, is not available or is not giving you an answer at that point of time, you look at someone else in terms of the hierarchy. Does that make sense? Yes? Okay. Uh, so we finished this much. I'll quickly show you all this. This, Okay. You all can take a, uh, this, what is it called? Screenshot. And this is the second one. Done? Can I say stop share? Yes. Okay. If any of you 